Miss Allen here once again. Today we will have a revision with the topic writing a setting description. I've taught you about this lesson before, but I found out that I have to revise this lesson with you again because there are things that each one of you should improve on with regards to this topic. So let's get started. So uh, first off, I will show you the learning menu for today. What the students need to know. Revise about the lesson previously studied to improve or enrich one's knowledge about writing a setting description. What the students need to understand. To understand that paying close attention to the details of the story by using all of your five senses will help them write interesting description about a setting. What the students need to do or perform by themselves to write a setting descriptive paragraph on their own. Okay, let, to start with, let me refresh your memories about setting description. The primary purpose of setting descriptive writing is to describe a place and time in such a way that a picture is formed in the reader's mind capturing an event through setting descriptive writing involves paying close attention to the details by using all of your five senses. Try these six tips. Number one, describe plays through character senses. Number two, include time period in description. Number three, show how characters feel about your setting. Number four, keep setting description relevant to the story. And number five, make a list of adjectives to describe your story locations. To start with, let me refresh your memory about setting description. So what is setting? Okay, story elements are the different parts of a fiction story. The setting is an important element. Can you figure out the definition of setting from the following examples? Okay, I'll show you examples here. Okay, can you figure out the definition? The setting might be a hot sunny day, at the beach during summertime, or it could be cold, rainy at a haunted house in October. So what do you think the definition of a setting? Setting is a time and space of a story. It often answers the question when and where. The time of a story may be in the past or in the future, and in daytime or at night, in the summer or winter. A story may take place in a school, in a jungle, in a big city, in a desert, in a variety of other places. We can also use adjectives on, or describing words to tell about the setting, like it's sunny day, cold, bright, busy, or spooky. You can determine the setting of a story by looking at the illustration and finding information in the text. Let's try, let's try this one. I was walking in the park on a warm day. How would you describe this setting? The text tells you that I'm in a park, it's warm and it's daytime. The illustration shows flowers, birds and the sun. I think it might be spring, so we could describe the setting as warm spring day in the park. So remember, setting is a time and place a story happens. I hope this short lecture will help you guys. Thank you.